Guess where we are? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Guess where we are right now? Do you hear the sound of jet engines? We are here at the Crown Plaza Changi Airport. thought that this resort like hotel is just right next to Changi Airport. Yep, and the thing that we waited, we waited two whole years just to stay here. So when we put the package, it was just the beginning of COVID. And then the hotel closed because they were an SHN hotel, uh, probably for the crew flying in. Mm -hmm. And then it only started to open to travelers and to uh, staycationers only in July this year. So that's why we finally got a place. So I think it's day. worth the wait actually. Yeah. I'm really enjoying the hotel too, so far. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with the swaying coconut or palm trees. <laughs> <laughs> it's palm, definitely palm not tree. coconut. <laughs> all right. But the whole theme extends all the way to the room, which we'll show you. When you're neighbors with one of the best airports in the world, there comes an expectation that the hotel serving Changi Airport should also be on par. We are happy to report that the Crown Plaza Changi Airport does not disappoint. The 500 plus hotel room that is part of the IHG Group has been consistently crowned the best airport hotel in the world and was recently awarded the title again this year by Skytrax. As to the legitimacy of the Skytrax awards, that's for another episode altogether. There are two ways to access the lobby of the hotel. One is via the main driveway. Since the hotel did not provide complimentary car park, we took the train and alighted at Changi Airport MRT Station. We were greeted by the friendly staff who recognized our IHG1 Rewards Platinum Elite tier and offered to upgrade us to the Premier Pool View Room. As aviation buffs, we requested for the Runway View Room but would have had to wait for two hours before that room was available, so we opted to stay on in the pool view room. Our package also included guaranteed checkout at 3pm, but we were given till 4pm thanks again to our platinum status. To ensure you don't miss any single episode from us, make sure you subscribe to us and click on the notification bell to receive our latest episodes. The 36 square meter room is designed with the tropical garden in mind. The French Penny motif can be seen throughout the entire hotel, from the glass wall that separates the bathroom and bedroom, all the way to the building facade that provides shade to the pool and rooms. The wood accented design further creates a resort feel, with smooth curves throughout the room mimicking a natural waterfall. Every room in the hotel has a separate walk-in shower and bathtub and is equipped with sustainable New Zealand skincare brand, Antipodes. Oh my god, you guys, can you see how big and deep this bathtub is? It can easily fit the both of us. And the best thing of all, throughout the whole corners, there are no faucets that will step me in the back. It's actually hidden over here inside the bathtub and the water will not spill all over the place. And I can just turn around to fill up the bathtub over here and also to adjust the temperature of the water. And I love the wooden aesthetics of this bathtub because it just flows into the rest of the room as well. And actually, the best part of the bathtub experience is actually watching TV right outside over here. Unfortunately, uh, the speaker that's supposed to flow through the sound of the TV doesn't seem to work, but we can still hear it pretty well. I think this just works just as well. Yeah. I love, love, love how big this space is to do my business as compared to our previous stay. But guys, it's missing the hygiene spray. How difficult is it for hotels to install one, especially in this day and age? I think it's just essential in any hotel right now. I'm really liking this very smooth and sleek waterfall edge of the workstation. Um, it feels like it's an extension all the way out to the lovely pool view outside, which I can't get enough of actually. Uh, I wish I had it every day. And something that I can't get enough of is this Herman Miller chair 
that provides a very good lumbar support. Gavodan has also provided the key blood direction for prayers for our Muslim guests. And I think this is something thoughtful because most hotels don't really provide that. And surprisingly, they have a Starbucks menu. And look at the price. It really looks pretty affordable, doesn't cost an arm and leg. And um, something quite similar to their cafes. Yeah. So, shall we give it a try? A few moments later. Thank you. Have a nice day. Enjoy your Starbucks coffee. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. And guess what? We've got our Starbucks delivered right through the room with pretty good prices. No one can beat that. The water pot design is seen throughout the whole room and extends all the way to the cupboard. Let me show you. So this is your usual open concept cupboard which is seen in so many new hotels nowadays. But then you can also close it if you want. And then it reveals the pantry part of the hotel where you can also extend this to get access to your kettle, tea and coffee, and also of course your fridge, which at the moment there's nothing inside. Now, this is one essential item in most hotels, but they have cleverly placed it in this way so that you can be hidden nicely. And finally, I always find it super useful to actually have a nice space to sit down and wear shoes. We also like the nice comfortable sofa placed at the foot of the bed facing the TV. It was so comfy that we ended up sitting on it while watching TV instead of on the bed which prevented us from dropping all the food crumbs on the sheets like we typically do. I just wish that this TV was a lot bigger. It's 40 inch, but screen mirroring is really easy. So I get to watch my Netflix and also enjoy my supper. Nothing beats waking up to a beautiful view of the pool and seeing the iconic shape of Changi Airport Control Tower with the familiar rumblings of a jet engine. Okay, we light. The room is well insulated that we can hardly hear any planes flying above us. I'm always looking for a place to plug in the hairdryer and this is really convenient because it's just right outside the bathroom and I can choose to dry my hair here or I can dry my hair over here. And I can't wait to try out the breakfast. It's called, I think the restaurant's called Azul. And we're done. Our room came with breakfast for two at the Aldi Dining Restaurant Azul. The food is laid out with Asian selection to the right of the restaurant and Western offerings on the left. You can also find a nice variety of pastries, cereals and yogurt in the centre of the 150-seater restaurant. The staff at the restaurant were friendly and helpful and always eager to help us document our dining experience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a lotus leaf, right? Yes. Ah, okay. That's nice. Then we have uh, Pancake, Indian pancake, chicken curry, nice. and the and dal. Uh, dal curry. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> the food selection was just nice and tasted 
just as good with a great mix of Asian and Western staples. We were intrigued by the pancake machine that produced made-to-order pancakes at the touch of the button. However, taste was nothing to shout about. One other thing we didn't want to do was to shout into the camera as our mic didn't work during breakfast. So we shall leave you to admire the food spread in peace. IHG One Rewards is running a promotion offering members up to 30,000 bonus points for stays at any participating IHG hotel for 15 qualifying nights. This means that you get 10,000 bonus points for each 5 night stays up till 15 nights. Remember to register for this promotion or your stay would not be recognized. To find out how we managed to get our IHG One Rewards Platinum Elite tier by staying for only 5 nights, Watch our first episode where we stayed at the Holiday Inn Johor Bahru. Click the subscribe button to our channel and follow us on Instagram and TikTok. For some shopping therapy and amazing dining options, Jewel never fails to impress. From level 2 of the hotel, head towards the link bridge and walk a good 8 minutes before reaching the diamond-like building. Alternatively, Take the Sky Train from Terminal 3 to Terminal 1 and cross the road to Jewel. Even for us who have been here too many times, we are still in awe of the breathtaking view of the world's tallest indoor waterfall as you enter the space that cleverly marries an airport, a shopping centre, a playground, and a food haven. The highlight of our stay is of course the outdoor landscape pool where we spent a major part of our time here. The pool had varying depths with the deepest part reaching 1.2 meters. The poolside area is laid out with plenty of deck chairs to sit on and relax while sipping on your Starbucks drink or jump into the cool blue waters of the pool when the weather gets too hot. The pool area covers around 540 square meters, long enough to do laps, and with little islands creating maze-like structures with private corners housing non-functioning jacuzzi. If you don't mind splurging just a little bit more, you can get these rooms right beside me for a direct access to the pool. However, it is not private because I've seen people lounging at the white chairs right behind me and even putting their things. Frankly speaking, I still prefer my room at the 6th floor right above us. While looking for the hotel gym, we stumbled onto a smoking corner in the hotel which we later found out was used to hold the hotel's marriage solemnization function. Why are you smoking? This original hotel wing has open air corridors and walkways throughout the building with flowing water everywhere between the rooms on the same level as the pool, which further creates a nice resort feel for the hotel. While we didn't manage to get the runway view room, the hotel gym faces directly towards the tarmac at Changi Airport. This provided a great excuse from having to do any workout at the fully equipped gym with high-end techno gym equipment. But instead, we did our fair share of plane spotting. Okay, so we did some running here and there, 
but it's only to film these scenes for this video. All in all, it was a time well spent at the gym. Hi everyone, so we've just checked out of the hotel room and it is just a little after 4 pm. So we did get our additional hour extension due to our platinum status. So um so let's review our stay at the Crown Plaza Changi Airport. You want to start off? It's been a really, really wonderful one night stay. I wish we could have stayed a little longer. I think we enjoyed every every aspect of this hotel, um, you know, right from the service to the pool to the room and, you know, even the architecture, a really inspiring and um, I, I we really like the urban oasis kind of retreat feel, mm -hmm. it's as though we are not in Singapore. Yeah, but let's start off with the location, it's right next to Changi Airport, which is not usually the kind of uh, location that you want to do or you want to consider for a staycation because it's far away from orchard, ponds, or you know, it's, it's far from the city, but basically you, it's still close to Jewel, which has almost everything. I mean, to be honest, we are both Singaporeans, but we have not really ventured every corner of Jewel, and I think we were both quite surprised with what Jewel has in store for us. Yep. And the fact that we are such aviation buff, so we totally enjoy our stay here. Uh, we could actually see planes uh, land and take off, um, and the only thing that we could not get was a room with the view of the runway, runway, right? Yeah. Because we had to wait for another two hours for that to be available. We didn't want to wait, so we just went ahead with a full view instead. Actually, the uh, the sound of the jet engine is pretty loud at times. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe getting the room with the runway view might not have been the best choice. Yeah. Though I still really want to try. So maybe the next time, and I think there will be a next time. Food wise, did you enjoy the breakfast? Thoroughly. I I think the spread is just nice. It covers quite a variety of uh food, and I I think most importantly, it's well curated and very tasty. Yep. And I think for me, the highlight of the stay has got to be the food. Um, you know, it brings a whole resort vibe to this part of the island. You wouldn't think that there's such, um, you know, the kind of Balinese feel that you can get from China. Uh, and that's really the highlight of the whole stay. For me, for me it's really the swimming pool. Um, it's really quite interesting because it feels very organic. Uh, you can have the openness of the pool with the sun, or if you want to have a shaded, uh, quiet area. You have uh, at the maze area of the pool. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it as yeah. well. So, uh, let's give your rating for your stay here at Crown Plaza. For me, it, it, it scores a very high 4.5 meow. <laughs> for me, I'll give it a 4 meow out of 5. Alright, that's our rating for our stay at the Crown Plaza Changi Airport. Hope you do really try as well. And stay tuned for the next episode. See you soon.